In this video, I'm going to demonstrate taping technique for plantar fasciitis, which also supports the slayers and gastroc. We've cut the tape in different shapes. So we've got eye strips, a decompression strip, and then we've cut an eye strip in two. We've rounded the corners off. This prevents it from peeling. The client can also trim the tape if it starts to peel as the days go on. Ideally, we would keep the tape on for between five and seven days. We're going to put the bottom of the foot on stretch. The client can use the couch to stretch or you can use your leg depending if you're standing or seated. We're going to take the end of the tape off, try not to touch the tape at all. And these are the anchors at the bottom, so no stretches are ever on these anchors. Just place this at the bottom of the phalanges. In this taping technique, we're going to go up straight at the middle of the plantar fascia popping about 25% stretch on as the foot is already stretched and then we're going to add 50. So we're going to have 75% stretch around the calcaneus onto the Achilles and up to the lower part of the soleus. Again, no stretch on the top anchor, around about a square's width, uh, length. You can use your fingers to stick the tape down or you can use the back of the tape. The heat activates the adhesive to ensure that all the area is stuck to the skin. We're then going to continue this tape up to the gastroc using an eye strip that's just been split in two. The anchor here we're going to rip off. So you take the tape, start this at the bottom of the Achilles. Again, no stretch. Try not to touch the sticky part of the tape. Pull the tape and this releases the backing. Hold the anchor. 50% stretch up towards the lateral head of the gastroc and again no stretch on that anchor. Again using the back of the tape to ensure you've got all of the tape stuck to the skin and then repeat on the other side. So remember to pull the tape, releases the backing strip, fold over so we have no stretch on the anchor. Some stretch up the medial head of the gastroc, no stretch on the anchor, and then use the backing to ensure all of the tape is stuck down. So we've supported the soleus and the gastroc. If your client has a much wider leg, you can use two eye strips, so you wouldn't split them. So you can use one for the medial and one for the lateral head of the gastroc. We can also use a decompression strip for the Achilles. If they have injured the Achilles, or that feels particularly tender or tight, you would rip the, the backing of the tape to show the tape. And again, there's going to be two anchors either side, which we don't have any stretch on. The client still got their foot in a slightly stretched position. We're going to apply 75% stretch. So if you were to stretch the tape fully, that's 100%, back to about 50 and then add a little bit on. So 75% over the Achilles, popping it onto the skin. And then again, no stretch on the anchors either side. And using the backing strip to ensure that all the adhesive is stuck onto the skin or tape. We can also support the arch. So when we have plantar fasciitis, the plantar fascia can be quite sore. We can support the arch by adding a strip that goes through the bottom of the foot around the top of the foot. Foot still on stretch. On the lateral part of the foot, you're going to apply the anchor. Remember, no stretch. And this time, we're going to have 75% coming through the bottom of the foot, 75 to 100 to increase that support. And it's going to come up the medial part of the foot over the ankle, making sure it comes through that arch. Any creases that you want to pull out you will have to take the tape off and reapply it. Once the tape's been applied, you can't then reapply it. 
So if the client has any creases on the bottom of the foot, I would take that tape off, cut a new piece of tape and then reapply it. So this is a taping technique for plantar fasciitis, which supports the Achilles and the soleus and the gastroc. We've shown an eye strip, decompression strip, and an eye strip that has been split into two, which again, if the client's got a larger leg, you can use two eye strips for further support.